All right, so this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well a Taurus Rising weekly general tarot reading, October 12th to uh, October 18th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading or you do want to take uh, one of my tarot classes, all the information in regards to both of those things you're going to find uh, into the description down below. Uh, so with that being set aside, let's uh, let's move to the uh, to the reading straight away. Right. So for your info, the the uh, upper half of the reading is going to show your. Uh, love and relationship experience throughout the week and the bottom half is going to describe your professional aspects and your career as well so let's uh, see every uh, Taurus how things are looking uh, they're looking quite promising as <laughs> quite promising as you can see here with the first couple of cards <clears throat> wow all right oh my so we do have the fool with the Sun nine of cups two of wands and in terms of career, that is to be the lovers, eight of pentacles, uh, nine of wounds, and then the last one we do have the world. Wow, right. Uh, that will be, uh, I don't know, maybe one of the best weeks uh, that uh, this year could um, uh, could offer you uh, here for, um, uh, with the four here sitting into this first position, uh, there is no other way to look at it than being a new beginning, if you will. And that new beginning doesn't have to be a brand new one. Well, it's going to be a brand new one, but it's like uh, it could be as well something that moves to the next stage. For example, being just a people that know each other to people that start dating, people that are dating to people that make commitments and so on and so forth. So the four, it's kind of like makes you embark on on kind of like new aspect if i may say it that way new perspective in term of your uh in term of your love life now needless to say um if you are single then the fool pretty much symbolizes new beginning as a uh, as a new relationship but again as taro does not take away decisions for you you alone have to decide do you want it or do you not want it okay so um, here with the sun having it into the second position that is very peculiar card there and it kind of points that you should not make compromises with your happiness okay so pretty much with these three uh, three cards that we do have here it does look like that uh, being happy in terms of love and relationship it's something that is given to you throughout the week itself and even uh, achieving kind of like a state of happiness is not going to be the hard part of it for we do have the nine of cups here into this position and what the card pretty much states it is that uh how can i say mm, uh, becoming happy it's not the hard part <coughs> excuse me but sustaining that happiness, making that happiness being from a short term one, transforming it into the long lasting one will be the uh, the real, how can I say, the tough part of the uh, of the enterprise itself. And as we do have the two of ones here at the end of uh, at the end of the reading, uh, it looks like that uh, at the end of the week itself, uh, you are going to sit or rather not, not sit, but more like a uh, being on a very f satisfiable position. So you're going to be pretty happy with the accomplishments you will be able to establish in terms of love life by the end of the week. And from there, you will have the luxury to make a decision or, or, or to decide how you are to cash in on those um, accomplishments. You know, do you want to make a commitment and do you just want to play around a little bit more within the stage where you are in right now? Or, uh, you know, do you want to make a much greater step moving forward than the step that usually would have been assumed by the common code of conduct? The two of ones uh, in this particular follow-up does give you the power to demand 
not just from the future suitor, not just from your uh, wife or a husband, not just from your partner in relationship, but from the universe as well. However, you need to be quite mindful to demand for a piece that you can actually chew and swallow down, for otherwise you may choke on it moving forward into the future. That is just figuratively spoken. Now, <clears throat> one more thing I want to touch uh, in terms of love and relationship before we go to the uh, to the career reading here. It is that throughout the week, being so serious, being serious is not going to uh, present you with any benefits. You have to look at the things from the bright side. And as well, you need to be rather spontaneous. You need to be uh, undetermined, if I may say it that way. You got to kind of like approach the uh, the endeavor and the enterprise with open mind, not assuming anything, keeping your expectations low uh, and kind of like being, how can I say, being without any presumptions uh, whatsoever. And remember, once again, I want to stress this one out. It's not about the cumulative happiness. It is about your happiness here with the sun sitting into, uh, sitting into this position. Now, one last thing. This enterprise that may happen to you throughout the week may not be the last relationship let's say or enterprise in terms of love life that you are to experience so even if the thing doesn't work out in the long run okay you shouldn't feel bad about it for for one or another reason it is just a part of the journey that you are yet to embark so whatever is happening to you throughout the week in terms of love life it is just a fraction of what is yet to emerge so um what was what was i about to say here so as being just a fraction, the whole thing, the overview is much bigger than you think it is. Now, uh, in terms of uh, career, let's first talk about those that are unemployed. Obviously, as we can see, there is a pretty good chance that you can start something to work. It's not going to be as ideal as you would like it to be. That is signified by those two cards. And in fact, having the lovers at the start, uh, it seems that you are going to be quite reluctant and hesitant to take the deal uh, because it's pretty much it's not going to be your thing. But as the world stands at the end, it will be beneficial for you to do so for it's going to give you the foundation for you to embark on new perspectives afterwards. So take it like, you know, a job that is just something temporary and you are to use it as first tool of sustenance and as well a trampoline for you to jump forward. Now, for ongoing career and for ongoing businesses, the cards are actually quite favorable. Uh, for it says that, uh, how can I say? Well, they are favorable in the sense of that uh, you will not go, you are not going to mess the things around in any way but if you do expect fast progress that's not exactly the week okay uh, this week is more about preparing yourself for things that are yet to come and that is described here by these two because the eight of pentacles sitting in this position it's pretty much a sign that whatever you are planning it's not ready yet to be initiated so you may hold on to the plan you may hold on to the to the um to the way of how you want to push it forward a little bit longer, think it more carefully. For with the Eight of Pentacles within this position, it does says that there are details that are not accounted, that are not accounted, that are not accustomed to the project itself, to the job itself, to the client, so on and so forth. But with the Nine of Wands here into the uh, third position, the card points that you are uh, quite experienced within this field and you are going to find a way, even if it does look like there isn't a way to get along with a certain client or to get beneficial in a certain project, or if you will, there is no way you are going to get promotion. Should you be patient enough and should you not rush the things around, should you not prematurely initiate your plan and your strive, you are going to find a way. And with the lovers, the week is going to be busy from a different peripherals. The week is going to demand from you to be very serious about certain certain stuff. 
and it will require a great amount of concentration from your behalf because the lovers in terms of career is always connected or related to important um, decisions that needs to be made and in order for you to make those decisions you have to be in the harmony with the things that you are working over and if you allow your mind to be occupied toward the future rather than toward the present there is a pretty big chance for you to either miss making the decision or making a decision that it's not gonna work as favorable as it could for the lovers from another hand it kind of shields you from uh, negative consequences with this card with this card there are no negative consequences pretty much any decision that you are to make whatever choice it is it's gonna serve you uh it's gonna serve you moving forward the question is how much is gonna serve you okay and you would i, I imagine you would like to make the best decision out there or rather like the decision that gives you the 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 bigger edge than the smaller one and uh, obviously with the universe or rather like with the world at the end uh, the card speaks about completion so finally by the end of the week you're gonna have your plan completed or or your means gathered and by doing so now, whatever haven't been ready here with the Eight of Pentacles to be initiated is going to be ready at the start of the next week. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.